Hello folks, this is Medicinal Mike again, and um, I have many concerns on my mind right now, but uh, one of them is the MMAR and Health Canada. I was on the phone with them after I got uh, home from work, and uh, uh, the frustration level with them is just getting worse and worse. Um, I asked them specifically this one single simple question. I've been asking them this for months on end, and that is what specifically is being what, what specifically has been causing the delays in getting out the plastic cards, the plastic ID cards for the MMAR uh, card holders? They're fine sending out uh, what we call the pink slip. Um, well, not so fine. Even that was delayed. But, you know. It, but for some reason, the cards are not getting out. Now, there's a, a theory around saying that it was Stephen Harper himself who basically uh, told the, the people at Health Canada to slow down on the applications. Uh, of course, maybe Harper wouldn't say it personally himself. He would do it through uh, the minister. Um, that's the theory that's going around because nothing else really accounts for what's going on. First off, why have all this secrecy? I feel like I'm being treated like a child. I want an adult conversation with somebody and this public servant, somebody who's getting paid with my taxpayers' money, absolutely refused to answer a simple question. And it was the contempt that she had for me at that moment was overwhelming. And it, it brought up my ire. I was angry. It, it, oh. And then she hung up on me. So... I guess it's because I raised my voice for some reason. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. So I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of Hell Canada, as we call it. And um, I'm going to go through with the Freedom of Information Act just to get this one specific thing out. But it's going to hurt them and it's going to hurt Prime Minister Harper in the long run uh, because I'm going to be saying that I believe that it was up to Harper to try and slow things down. And meanwhile, there are people who have died waiting for their applications to be processed. Okay? People are dying because of these delays. And I ask a simple question like, what is the specific reason? Uh, I'm thinking, well, you know, what is it? Mechanical? Has the machine to make them broken down? Uh, software problem? Staffing problem? What? Just give me an answer. I, I would have been happy if they had lied to me months ago and just said something. But, well, no, I, I shouldn't say I'd be happy. But I think I would have at least stopped bugging them. But I don't want to encourage them to just lie to me either. Um, what I want is for them to tell the truth when they're asked a specific question like this. And... I want them to give a rationale if they cannot answer the question. Just refusing to answer the question is not good enough. Absolutely not good enough. We are in a free country, a free democracy. Our public servants do not deserve to talk to us this way. We are the masters, they are the servants. That's the way it works. The entire government gains their power from us. Us people, we say that they are allowed to have power. We can choose not to give that power out. If you want a lot of chaos, keep running the government or trying to attempt to run the government as you are because you're going to run into all kinds of problems. If you get a whole bunch of sovereign citizens si suddenly walking around 
you could have a major problem on your hands with all the laws and you're going to have a dysfunctional government. But that's a whole other story from what I'm talking about with the MMAR. This aura of secrecy and the contempt that they have is inexcusable. But the next thing I have to say is, okay, you're forcing me to go through you know, the Freedom of Information Act to get this. In the meantime, you're purposely putting Stephen Harper in harm's way. One simple answer could clear it all up. I don't get it. Are you are the public servants against Stephen Harper? Maybe, I don't know. I, I hear that the turnover at the MMAR is extremely high. It could be the fact that they get people like me who are extremely irate and frustrated uh, getting angry and, and pleading for them to do their jobs. Uh, in some cases, people are dying because they're not doing their jobs. So I could see how that could be extremely stressful, day in, day out, having sick people telling you to speed up, get the job done, and then have somebody over top of you saying, slow down, don't do the work. I could see how there would be a, a major conflict there. And that would explain a lot of reasons why there, it's A, such a high turnover, and nobody there seems to be informed. Uh, nobody can ever give me the same answer twice. The whole thing is a mess. And it needs to be cleaned up. <sighs> That's my rant for today. Please send this around to all the other people. Uh, all the other cannabis groups uh, if you see it on YouTube uh, hopefully somebody will see this and, and help do something if somebody is inside working for the MMAR and you could you know do a, a WikiLeaks and tell me what it is I would be glad to blab it all over the place for you if that's okay with you and I of course no names right um, that would be fine. I, I would accept that. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I, the frustration and anger I have, it, it's not necessary. It's not needed. When are we going to have an adult conversation with this government? It's time to get them out. Or at the very, very least, toss them such a a minority, one that is so much lower than what they had before as to be an insult, even that would be okay. Because, you know, they don't deserve to have full power. End of story. Okay, that's it for me. Have a good night.